Excitement. Adventure. Boston Blackie. Enemy of those who make him an enemy. Friend of those who have no friends. Yes, sir. That's Boston Blackie, and he's quite a guy. In just a moment, we'll see him in one of his exciting adventures. But first, a word from our sponsor. anybody else up this early in the morning. I was Shanghai. The last time I'll get you up to see the sunrise from the hills. I hope that's a promise. Louie, look. In that convertible down there. Yeah, that's him. Bystander ask a question? No. Foul's his position, hasn't he? Bad manners, too. Maybe this will change yours. He took the car keys and off the bus. Well, there's a spare key under the dash. You know the spot. Look, you drive my car. I'll take this. We're going to pay Faraday a visit. Right. Wait, Whitey. Snap it up, Collins. It shouldn't take all day to find those mug shots from the description that Blackie gave you. I'm doing my best, sir. Well, Mary. Hmm? Remind me to buy Simon Legree a bullwhip for his birthday. Now, don't you start to... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Blackie. Please. Commissioner's been on my neck again. What'd you do, Inspector? Well, I'm on the spot with that movie star buzzer gang. They broke into another home last night and collected $18,000 worth of jewelry. That's better than collecting autographs. Those much should be in here, sir. But I can't find a thing on the hitchhike. Well, keep on looking. Yes, Here's one of them. Mary, you're right. Lewis Louis Denton, ex-wrestler, ex-chauffeur, ex-bodyguard, second story man. Versatile, isn't he? Now, if we can only find his playmate. Hey, here he is. Gordon Spear, con man, theatrical background. They're all yours, Friday. Good work, Blackie. I'll send out a pickup on these mugs for armed assault. Now, if you don't mind, I'll get back to my movie star burglar gang again. 
If we could only get a line on that hitchhiker, we'd be all set. You know, Barky, I could swear I'd seen him before. Blue eyes, curly hair, broad shoulders. You've seen him all right, but in your dreams, riding on his white charger. Blackie, you're jealous. His name is Guy. Spear called him that. Guy. Hey, wait a minute. That rings the bell. Remember the picture, Strange Destiny? The romantic lead, the, the handsome one? Wasn't that the boy? By golly, Mary, I think you're right. Inspector, we've got it. That hitchhiker was an actor. That narrows it down some. We've only got about 50,000 actors in this town. I have the information on the sedan, sir. Who owns it? A man named Omar Palmer. 3840 Valley Bank Road. Oh, Bob Palmer. That's the big movie star agent. Bring him in and have him identify the car. Yes. Say, Faraday, I'd like to talk to this man, Palmer, about the actor. And when I'm up there, I can tell him about the car. That's okay with me, because stolen cars are out of my line. Good. Come on, Whitey. And, uh, Blackie. Yeah? Be careful and don't pick up any hitchhikers on the way. I'm tired of you making up my mind for me. You can't tell me what to do anymore. I'll stay in or out as I please. And you can count me out from now on. Please, my dear, let's not create a scene in front of these people. Ah, oh, these actresses. Temperament, temperament, temperament. Mr. Palmer? Yes? I'm Boston Blackie. This is Mary Wesley. How do you do? Hello. Do you have a few minutes? Of course, Blackie. I've heard a lot about you. Come right in. Find yourself a seat. What can I do for you charming people? I was wondering if you missed your car. My car? Yeah, we found it up in the hills. Apparently it was stolen. Stolen? Boy, that's amazing. Simply amazing. I don't know how to thank you. Excuse me. Yes, Gordon? Mr. Cheney at Brentwood Pictures is calling. Thank you. Hello, Sam. What can I do for you? Yes, Renee is available. At 3500 a week. <laughs> no, Sam, that's our price. All right, I'll see you about four tomorrow. Now. Oh, yes, the car. Is there anything I can do to return the favor? Perhaps there is. Oh, I know what it is. You want me to get Miss Wesley in the movies. You're uh, beautiful enough, my dear. No, thanks. I have enough problems already. That's refreshing. Delightfully refreshing. Someone who doesn't want to be in pictures. <laughs> uh, what is it, then? Well, do you know a young actor by the name of Guy... Guy something or other? He played the romantic lead in Strange Destiny. Well, yes, you mean Guy McDonald. Here's his picture. I got him that part. I'm his agent, you know. Really? Mary was saying the other day that she just loved to meet him. Oh, is he as handsome as he is in pictures? Well, I honestly don't know too much about him, I'm afraid, even though he is a client of mine. A moody chap, I can tell you that. I don't suppose it would be too unethical to give Mary his telephone number, would it? <laughs> well, I don't know that either. He moved recently. I haven't the slightest idea where. He tells me these things at his own convenience. Sorry, I can't give you any more help. Well, that's all right. Oh, don't bother. We'll, we'll find our way out. Come on. Goodbye, and uh, thanks for the flattering offer. Goodbye. And thank you for recovering my truck. Oh, not at all. Yes? Spears, would you come in, please? Right. I just heard from Empire on the North Cross deal. They'll go for 12 weeks at 1,000 per. Good. Uh, who are those characters? New talent? That was Boston Blackie. He tells me my car was stolen. They found it in the hills. Oh? 
Better tell Louie to be more careful. I can't have a chauffeur so casual with my car. Yes, he better be more careful in the future. Well, we didn't get very far with him, did we? No. Where do we go now? Let's go see our favorite movie columnist, Molly Carlson. She owes us a favor. You mean she can tell us more about Guy McDonald? Well, if Molly can't tell us, nobody can. Larry, if I don't know, nobody knows. I found out about the robbery at your place before you did. How much is it taking for? You're really right now. That gang only breaks into the homes of top stars. They must be getting inside information. They always know when the victim is out working. Larry Payton, the movie star burglars took him for 18 grand in jewels. He's a ninth in three weeks. You kids got some hot gossip, or is this a friendly call? I wonder if you can tell us about a certain actor. Uh, just a minute, Blackie. Well, okay, I'll keep in touch with you. Who is the actor? Guy McDonald. You're too late, Mary. He has a girlfriend. Isn't that a shame? Look, I wonder if you can tell us where the girlfriend lives. Let's see, um, she lives in that apartment at Wilshire and, uh, Appian. Her name's, um, uh, Ginny Lawton. Cute kid. What do you know about Guy McDonald? I mean, about his, uh, personal life. He's a nice boy. Keeps out of nightclubs, no scandals. I can't get a thing on him. He'll be a star one of these days. Lucky, I smell a story. Come on, spill it. Look, Molly. If there is a story, you'll get it exclusive. Bye. I wonder what she has that I'd like to have. Besides Guy McDonald. Come again? Yeah, Guy McDonald's girlfriend. You'll see in a minute if she's home. Well, what are you doing here? How did you get here so soon? What do you mean? Take a look. That's the same girl we saw at Palmer's. You saw her at the agent? Was she an actress? She was putting on quite a scene when we got there. Well, no more acting for her. Just one shot through the heart. Bang, and she dropped. Here's her first inspector. Hey, uh... What's this thing? It's like a piece of a man's shirt. Could be the killer's. She probably ripped it off in the struggle. Say, what are you doing here? How did you find out about this, anyway? Oh, we didn't. Uh, we found out the hitchhiker's name is Guy McDonald. Molly Carlson, the columnist, told us McDonald's girl lived at this address. Well, if her name is Carol Lawton, you were a little bit late. Carol Lawton? That's what it says in her wallet. In case of emergency, notify Virginia Lawton. Same address. It's obviously her sister. That's our hitchhiker, all right. And you know something, Fairly? I got news for you. This is a part of his shirt. What? That's done it. I'll send out a radio call for him. Guy, what's his last name? McDonald. Hey, that boy's ended up to his neck. It all ties in. Those hoodlums. Palmer's car. Carol's fight with Palmer. Palmer's guy's agent, too. You know, Fairly, you better have a talk with this guy, Palmer. There's so many arrows pointing in his direction, he's either the target or the archer. Could be. As soon as I finish here, I'll pay him a little visit. Mary, you better stay here and keep the inspector company. Uh, I think I'll go out to Palmer's to uh, do a little preliminary spade work. Oh, Blackie. Be sure it's spade work. Don't get plowed under. Blackie's really underway now which means plenty of action and excitement when we return in just a moment for part two of our Boston Blackie adventure. I'm getting tired of this horsing around, Guy. Tell me where you hid the jewels, and I'll let you and your girlfriend go. Go ahead. Try and find them. I know you hid them in the hills somewhere. After you swiped them from the garage last night. You mean you hid that stolen jewelry in my garage? 
My Associate and My Chauffeur, the movie star burglars. Tell about you, Palmer, but now you've got to go. I have no alternative. I got the alternative. Insurance paid up? Blackie, am I happy to see you. These gangsters were going to kill us. Real tough, aren't they? Yeah, it's tough enough to kill Ginny's sister. What was the point of your shirt going in her hand? They planted it, trying to frame me, because I discovered what they were up to. Okay, I'll buy that for the time being. Turn around, I'll untie you. I need help anyway. What was the point in killing the girl? She was in with him, but she double-crossed him. She double-crossed me, too. Told me that Ginny was in on part of the setup. I got the crazy idea I could return the jewels to the people who were robbed. This way, clearing Ginny. I went to the garage and took the jewels and... Another... Boston Blanky. That was a stupid move, Louis. What do you mean? You know how Blanky rates with the police. Every cop in the state will be out to avenge his killing. I uh, would take his body up in the hills and throw it in a canyon, in a ravine. Throw a lot of dirt on his body. The cops never will find it. There are lots of places to lose a body up in the hills. There's no one to help you now, kid. Where are the jewels? And you and Palmer and the girlfriend can join Blackie at the bottom of a ravine. Better tell him, Guy. Our lives are worth more than those jewels. All right, you win. They're on the big H. On the what? I'd better take it. You'd never find them alone. Okay, but so help me. If you try any tricks, you're a dead duck. Throw Blackie in the trunk of the car. We'll dump him on the way. Right. Well, leave the girl here. She won't go anywhere. Come on. Let's get up there. I don't believe it. 
Blackie's indestructible. Don't worry, Mary. We'll find Blackie and he'll be alive. Talk up, girl. Who did this? My Ed Spear. The same man that killed my sister. The hood's in the mugshot. Well, it all ties in. Where'd they go? Star said he'd take him to the, to the big H. The big H? What kind of crazy talk is that? It's somewhere in the hills. There it is, Inspector. The big H. Back of the big H, tied up near the top. Go get Blackie's body out of the trunk. Let's get rid of it here. Right. Let's go. Louis, when you get him out, toss him over the edge. It'll be a pleasure. Hey, nobody. Guess again. We don't want to lose you now after all this trouble. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Are you hurt? Yeah, my shoulder when I fell. That was magnificent, Blackie. Simply magnificent. But we thought you were dead. So did they. How were you resurrected so miraculously? And how did you ever get out of that trunk? Some other time. Let's get this over with first. Guy, where are the jewels? They're on the big letter H. Tied near the back of it. Well, you sure picked a great spot. Here. Take this gun and watch him. Well, what about the jewels? Well, you can't climb up there with that sore shoulder. I'll get them. I'll come with you, if you don't mind. for Guy's benefit. I couldn't let him spread the word that his agent was managing the robberies, could I? Don't do it, Blackie. I'll shoot if I have to. Louie, old man. The most opportune arrival. Watch Blackie while I go up and recover our property. Don't you want to hear how I got away, boss? I'm interested. Tell me, Louie. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Where'd he go? Hands over the cliff and Palmer's down to sign with Blackie. Oh, Blackie's alive, Mary. I told you. Blackie's alive. He won't be for long if Louie's after him, and he probably is. Oh, it's after Blackie, is he? You look at the spears, and I'll go up to that sign. There he is on the big edge. Okay, Blackie? How do you feel? 
Like a million. And that's where I hid the jewels on the back of the big H. I'm going to call Norm Evans over at Sunland Studios. This would make a terrific movie with you playing yourself, Max. Oh, can I play the part of the cop? Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, fair. What do you mean, no, no? Well, you're not the type. Ah, uh, drop your gut, Louis. I've been trailing you for seven years. I got you dead to right. <laughs> <laughs>